have another fantasy football season, and here's a few tight ends I would bench this week. The first guy, Kyle Pitts of the Atlanta Falcons. So Kyle Pitts, obviously, he was a top five pick in the NFL draft this season, but it's been an up and down rookie year for him. So Pitts, he's had a couple monster games this year, and then a few dud performances as well. Week seven in Miami, seven catches, 163 yards. Week eight versus the Panthers, two catches, 13 yards. Week 9 at the New Orleans Saints, 3 catches, 62 yards. And Week 10 at Dallas, he started off with a huge first to second drive there. But then they just fizzled out with the Falcons, and they did nothing the rest of the day. 4 catches, 60 yards in that one. So right here on Thursday Night Football, tough matchup versus the New England Patriots that give up the second least amount of fantasy points to tight ends on the season. And this Patriot defense, they're playing amazing, in my opinion. They're shutting offenses down for the most part. Offenses really can't get anything going. And big-time fantasy players haven't done much either versus Patriot defense in the last month. So right here, I think Belichick in this ball game is going to have the defense focus in obviously on Kyle Pitts and shut him down and try to make the running game and other wide receivers who've been inconsistent all season here for the Falcons like Zacchaeus, Russell Gage and Sharp try to beat him but right here I just don't see a good game for Pitts and I see Belichick like I mentioned taking him out of this one and let someone else try to beat him offensively the next tight end I would bench this week is Dallas Goddard of the Philadelphia Eagles so Dallas Goddard he's been pretty decent this year here and now he's the full-time tight end no doubt about it with Zach Ertz traded to the Arizona Cardinals a few weeks ago. But right now, Goddard, he left Week 10's ball game at Denver with a concussion. And even if he plays in this game versus the New Orleans Saints, I don't see much happening from Goddard in this one. The Saints give up the seventh least amount of fantasy points to tight ends. Goddard, he won't be 100% if he returns, in my opinion. And right here, I know Philadelphia's look good, but it's been more of the running game where obviously Jalen Hurts taking the ball himself, and obviously Jordan Howard has looked pretty decent. So right here, Goddard the last few weeks, week 8 at Detroit, 6 catches, 72 yards. Week 9 at the Chargers, 3 catches, 43 yards. And week 10 at the Denver Broncos, 2 catches, 28 yards. So right here, Goddard in a tough matchup, and not 100% even if he plays versus New Orleans, do much more than five to eight fantasy points and he's a tight end i will bench this week in the third and final tight end i will bench this week i would cook the los angeles chargers so cook he's an inconsistent tight end and let's be honest there's a lot of inconsistent tight ends this season in fantasy football it's one of the weaker positions no doubt about it this year so jared cook the last few games week eight versus new england two catches 25 yards week nine at philly four catches 48 yards and a two-point conversion. In Week 10 versus Minnesota, one catch for 10 yards. So it seems like every other game, Cook is a pretty decent game. So this week, that would fall in line with my theory that every other game he does well. But right here, it's a tough matchup versus the Pittsburgh Steelers that give up the 11th least amount of fantasy points to tight ends on the season. And right here, besides Keenan Allen, Eckler, and Herbert, there's no one each and every week that's pretty consistent on this Charger team. And right now, I mentioned to drop Cook early in the week. And this week, he's still owned in 56% of fantasy weeks. So right here, I would just bench him and find another option. So that's a few tight ends I would bench here for week 11 of the fantasy football season.